The Trackaby web interface consists of two areas, personal and company. The personal area is an area where individual users can manage their own data, such as timesheets and leave schedules. Here, you can see a dashboard that displays a calendar with a summary of time logged by day and week, along with a block listing recent projects and tasks for quick launching of the timer. In the header, you can find the web timer, always available in all sections of the web application. Keep in mind that the web timer cannot track user activity or capture screenshots. You would need to install our desktop application for that. The web timer can be disabled in the role section. When disabled, the start and stop buttons are hidden, but the current time remains visible. In the timesheet section, you can record your time, either by adding a new time entry manually or starting a timer. This timesheet can be edited similarly to an Excel table. Like this, select a client, select a project, select a task, and enter a description. The leave section serves as a personal leave planner. You can create a new leave request by clicking the Add New button, double-clicking a date, or dragging your mouse to highlight the planned leave dates. Leave requests require approval from a manager with the appropriate permissions, unless the user has the authority to approve his own leaves. The Import section allows configuring integrations with other services for importing data into your timesheet. For example, you can import Git commits and convert them into time entries. Here, in the settings, you will find some basic options, including choices for browser and mobile notifications, as well as user interface preferences. The Get a Bonus section lets you earn cash by sharing your referral link with friends and colleagues. In the Company area, you can manage the data of the entire company and all users. Regular users generally have restricted access to this area that depends on their assigned roles. However, if you own the company account, you should have access to all sections that we're about to review. The company dashboard provides a comprehensive overview of the company's data. Here you can see the total time logged, total wage amount, total billable time, and total billable amount. Below, there's per user data that includes time worked and wages earned, and days off. This line below user data shows what projects the user worked on. Additionally, you can view billable time and amounts per client and project. The right column of the dashboard displays leaves for the selected period, and if you are in the current period, you can also see any upcoming leaves. In the Company Insights section, you'll find detailed user activity information vital for monitoring performance, including log time, billable time, user activity, productive and unproductive time, user activity score, screenshots, applications used and URLs visited, and GPS routes. You've likely noticed that there are three categories of time, logged, billable, and activity time. The activity time shows how long the user is actively using their keyboard and mouse. Plus, the application permits short pauses in activity without stopping the timer, a feature known as timer tolerance. The activity time, when combined with the pauses, constitutes the log time. Log time represents the time a user has been working and should be compensated for. Billable time is the amount you charge your clients, and by default, it matches the log time. However, you can manually adjust it or designate certain projects or tasks as non-billable. Now, let's examine the timesheet section. It includes all time entries of all users, resembling Excel sheets or similar software. You can edit it similarly by double-clicking a cell to change its content. Upon opening a time entry in an edit pop-up, you'll find extras, such as the timeline or the flag as rejected checkbox. Above the table, there is a filter that allows you to select specific date ranges or data types. You can also find buttons to generate reports or export data to a CSV file based on your selection. The Leave Schedule section allows managers to view and manage employee leaves. Here, managers can review and approve or reject leave requests sent by employees, or add leaves directly. Reports essentially serve as snapshots of the timesheet data. To create a report, navigate to the Timesheet section, apply the necessary filters to the data, and click the Save as Report button. Choose whether to group the time entries and select the columns you want to include in the report. Once your report is ready, you can print it, export it to Excel or PDF, or share it via a link. In the Invoices section, you can create invoices for your clients. An invoice can utilize hours saved in a report, or you can add items manually. Options like adding an hourly rate, tax, or discount are available and you can choose whether the invoice is accessible in the client's account. Ensure to send it or mark it as sent because draft invoices are invisible to clients despite any settings.
The Projects section allows you to effectively manage your list of projects and the personnel assigned to each one. Each project includes various settings, statistics, a plan and cost estimate, teams, and individual users who are assigned to the project. It's important to note that a user must be assigned to a project, either directly or as part of a team, in order to access it in their timesheet and be able to log time. The Client section is a client list with brief profiles, including their project, logged, and billable time statistics. Additionally, the system allows inviting client users to the current company account, granting them access to relevant timesheets, time reports, and invoices. The Staff section is dedicated to managing the users of the account. Users are invited via email. Upon accepting the invitation, they gain access to the company account in accordance with the access restrictions of their role. In this section, you can view and modify user details, including their wage rates for different periods. Plus, annual leave allowances for each year. You also have the option to delete users, which removes all their time entries and leaves, or dismiss them, which only revokes their access to the account while keeping the data intact. Within these tabs, you will find lists of pending invitations and former users. In the Teams section, you can form teams and assign various roles to members. Assigning a team to a project automatically grants members the access levels established by their team role. The Achievements feature is an excellent method to provide additional incentives for your team. When users accomplish specific goals, they can automatically earn badges and points. For example, you could set a goal of working a minimum of 40 hours a week. After logging that time in a single week, Users will earn a badge and points, which can later be redeemed for tangible rewards, such as gifts or extra days off. This is an example of how an achievement notification would appear. Trackaby provides advanced user role functionality. These roles determine access to various data and system areas and include specific role level settings that can override default configurations. By default, there are three roles, the owner role, the manager role with almost full access, and the employee role with access to personal space only. It's also possible to create custom roles and modify existing ones. Now let's quickly go through some of the most important account settings. The company profile allows changing the company name, logo, address, and some other details. They are used, for example, in reports and invoices. Subscription is where you can select your subscription plan and the number of users you need. In general settings, you can set your time zone, default rates, and default annual employee leave allowance. Time tracking is an important section where you can find settings related to time tracking and employee monitoring. Productivity settings allow you to choose how to track productive and unproductive applications and create rules that define which apps are productive and which are not. Timesheet settings allow you to choose what data fields, columns, are available in user timesheets. You can also decide what data should be mandatory and what should be visible to managers only. Furthermore, you have the option to add custom data fields that support various data types. Time types allow you to manage a list of special time types, such as overtime, weekend work, etc. Here, you can also set different wage and billable rate coefficients. For example, if you pay 50% more for overtime, you can set a 1.5 wage coefficient for the overtime type. The system will apply this coefficient to all wages paid for overtime work. Working days is the section where you select which days of the week are designated as working days in your company. Public holidays is a list of official holidays that assist the system in accurately managing required log time, vacations, and other related aspects. Leave types is the list of various leave categories you can utilize in the leave planner, such as vacation, sick leave, and others. In the notifications section, you have the option to enable account activity summary emails, which can be sent daily, weekly, or monthly. These emails contain the most essential information found in the company dashboard and insights sections. Please note that users will only receive notifications if these notifications are enabled for their roles, here. In the User Interface section, you have the option to select a different theme. 
The dark theme settings can only be modified at the user account level. In addition to using the web interface, remember to install both the desktop and mobile applications for time tracking. The desktop app is a convenient way to record time worked. It can track user activity, capture screenshots, log opened apps and URLs, and calculate user activity score. This data can be used for user monitoring, or as a reference for logging time manually when monitoring is not necessary. The primary purpose of the mobile app is to provide users with the ability to record GPS routes while tracking time. This feature is particularly useful for delivery couriers, sales representatives, and similar roles. However, if GPS recording is not needed, the app can still function without this feature. In addition, users can manage their personal leave schedules, including the request approval process. Managers have the ability to review team insights data through the mobile app. The insights section in the app closely mirrors the one in the web version. That's it. Thank you for watching. If any part seemed too brief, don't worry. We'll explore each feature in more detail in our upcoming videos.